Smokies is what we call this one. We did call we, it Smokies. Trev's starting every show. Go muted even the finale. Wait, I just heard my echo. I heard it too. Let's work out the Weird. kids. Work them out. We're working. Oh, that's like a, 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 a aerobics show with Ray Davies, and it's called Working Out the Kinks. Ray Davies is the front man of the Kinks. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that's pretty good uh, I thought you were going to say like it was uh, related to like doing stand up and somebody was like I just working out some kinks folks working out some kinks <laughs> um, you know who was really good at that was uh, like you know when you're trying a new joke and it doesn't go well um, <laughs> was uh, Kurt Bronler because yeah. um, he would like he would try a joke and if it didn't go well he would just like look at the audience and he'd be like I'm just trying something. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's okay. Yeah. Just trying something. And he like totally put the audience at ease. Like sometimes, like, yeah, yeah. It's okay. You can try new jokes. Sometimes when good. when you when you're doing comedy, you got to let the audience go. Like, yeah, that wasn't funny. I thought it might be. Yeah. But I was wrong. I was the one that was wrong here, not you. Yeah. You're right. I hope. Sorry about I that. Have funny stuff to come. <laughs> that's not I didn't just do what I thought was my best joke ever so don't don't be afraid of the next 10 minutes yeah and then like 20 jokes later you're still saying the same shit <laughs> I know I know like, none of that was funny guys this is an off night tonight I'm better than this I swear and that's your whole career yeah when I was doing, doing this, this at, at home, home in front, in front of, of the, the mirror, mirror it, it <laughs> killed. All right? I brought it here. It's not. I get it. Darren should do stand-up. Darren, you should do stand-up in England because you have this gimmick of being this American guy. I know. And the first thing I want to say and probably has been done was like, yeah, hey, I'm an American. Um, I get to say cunt again, which is fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> That's good. I like it. I like How it. How many Americans have like opened with that joke when they in England? I'm sure. Or it's, I mean, you can go with the done. hard F too. <laughs> Are they still use <laughs> that word? I guess. I guess. Yeah. For the mean Bro, cigarette. The hard, you're talking about cigarette. Yeah. Yeah. The cigarette. Yeah. Darren. So can you confirm? Like, is that still a term? Term? Now frequently? I get to joke around about cigarettes all the time. What do they call vapes? Is there? <laughs> Is there another like slur? Okay. No, no, they call them. Babes. They call them the N word. <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> the, the hard R word. Oh my god! <laughs> they call vapes the hard R. <laughs> Man, this country is something. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That should be your catchphrase. You should do. Stand up and do observational humor about England and just be like, this country is something. <laughs> Floyd Parma says like, vapes are called badges. Uh, it's badge. funny because it's like uh, people will hear my accent and they, because there are so many accents in the UK, like there's Wales and Scotland and Cockney and you know south london projects like every, there's so many different like crazy and so when somebody first hears me speak they're like where are you from like cardiff or like they'll name some city bristol or you know and then i'll speak a little bit more and then they're like oh you're american okay okay <laughs> yeah are you from norwich <laughs> norwich yeah tottenham's playing norwich tomorrow last game big norwich. game Maybe. yeah right yeah. They have to draw to stay in the – if they lose and Arsenal wins, Arsenal goes in the Champions League. Oh, crazy. Yeah, Yeah, man. It's – yeah. I hope Tottenham goes. Have you been to Wales since you've been out there? No, but that's where beautiful. we're going next. We did uh, Edinburgh, um, and that was just crazy amazing. 
And dude, I can't imagine have, having gone back in the Whitest Kids days, like during the, the comedy festivals. It would have been so much fun. That city is so cool. Yeah. So awesome. Um, but yeah, like you go and like, you know, like Reggie Watts or whoever would come and do comedy at the festival for like, it's a long run. You do like a show every night for a very long time. For like a month, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, something that like that. That would have been so much fun. Like, yeah. Like it would have been exhausting, but also I think like we're, we're just, we would have been cut out for that, you know, just through all mm-hmm. like the pianos days and stuff like that. If we had one show that we were doing every night and like could like be loose with it and have fun, that would have been great. Yeah. Was that ever a, a possibility for you guys? Night. Was that ever on your it radar? It was. It was. And I don't know why. And I think we like even asked um, Kara a couple times to do it. But I don't know why it didn't happen. I don't know if it was a scheduling thing or what. I think it was scheduling, yeah. I think it was all, It was never the right time kind of no. thing, you know? Like, because I think yeah. we would have had to, uh, had to have, like, come up with a show for, for Edinburgh. Mm-hmm. That would have been easy. And- we could have done that on the plane ride over. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> a specific show for that for that festival maybe not like a our usual greatest hits but i mean i guess we could have done some sort of greatest hits kind of thing and uh and then um yeah um Word. i think it was just like the 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 task of putting the show together with the time of actually doing the festival we like with Trevor and Zach and their skyrocketing careers and uh you know you me and Timmy with our plummeting lives I think just there was never a perfect time you know yeah <laughs> yeah we had to hit people the keep bars. saying people keep saying I'm cosplaying as the brawny man <laughs> yeah cool. you are dig it you are dig it. You should do some highlights in the mustache and then the hair. And then some you'll highlights? Be like, man. Oh, yeah, oh to make it blonde. I thought you were just saying like frosted tips to my mustache. I'm like, I've yeah, never yeah. Seen Frost that. your mustache tips. Yeah, I've never seen that either. <laughs> Sam that looks like a math cool core thing. guitarist. Do you know what I asked for when I got my mustache shaved? What? I said, give me the Ned Flanders. <laughs> Nice. Sam looks like he's about to hang somebody over the balcony by their ankles. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't get that reference. I don't either. Uh-oh. Infinite Gucci. I only said Sam looks like he's about to hang someone by their ankles over a balcony because they harassed one of the club workers. I, I, it's visual. Oh, I like I'm it. a bouncer? It's evocative. Okay. All right. Cool. What's Tough your favorite thing to do with paper towels? um clean clean up messes <laughs> um, all right what are we doing tonight fellas wait i, I had a Let's hot take up. before the show I, I had a hot take before the show we we were talking about and i'm sure everyone's heard too much of this too much of this whole johnny depp amber heard debacle mm-hmm. but my hot take on this is that it was a crazy relationship both of them she wrote an article about being in a like the whole thing is about her writing an article that she was in an abusive relationship she didn't name names she actually saw like lawyers and stuff before she released the the article and i guess got it okay is what i heard uh and the whole trial let's not forget the trial is about it's a defamation trial it is a, he's suing her it's not like she's suing him he's going to jail for abusing her or something like that she, she he's suing her for defamation mm-hmm. and all she said was i'm in abusive relationship and she was it doesn't matter like 
what the line is, and I'm sure they're both awful. It doesn't matter if they're both awful. It's still an abusive relationship. And no, I'm pretty sure Johnny Depp is is rock solid. He's awesome. <laughs> and then on top on top of this, I think what we're seeing here too is that Johnny Depp has better lawyers and way better publicists. Like the news that we're seeing, I think is is being pushed out there by Johnny Depp's team. Yeah, he's got a better team. He's rock solid. <laughs> people are more yeah. attracted to him. They seem like two people who should have never dated. Uh, they seem like two people who absolutely would date, and they both seem like awful and rich and just kind of self-centered, and this is just kind of what happens. And I just think that, like, here's another thing. One of, part of this whole thing is that he got fired from Harry Potter. Harry Potter has uh, what's 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 that person's name? Ezra um, Ezra Nate, Miller. You know this? Ezra Miller. Flash. The Hawaiian Ezra Flash Miller, is what they call him now. The Flash has been arrested a ton of times for drunken disorderly and like assault and stuff like that and still was in that Harry Potter movie. So did Johnny <laughs> Depp get fired from Harry Potter because of Amber Heard? Mm, or did Johnny Depp get fired because we're all tired of him? I don't know, man. Just saying. <laughs> um, Just saying. The take was too hot for Darren. Yeah, I, I'm not following it close enough. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not really, like, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Boo, bad take. People are like, bad take. Uh, and, like, all the stories, if you, if you watched any of it, all the stories are like, I was sitting there and I was drinking shots of tequila. And awesome. She came by <laughs> and cut my finger off. I had some pills and was drinking all this the stuff and she shat in my she shat in my bed with the fecal matter does he really does is that what happened that's like the big thing is that like uh i what i heard was that he was going to go by the house to pick up his stuff because he knew she'd be away at coachella and that his his like house his friend or the, the, the house manager was like, Hey, don't come by here. She shit in the bed. <laughs> what? Hey, I don't know if you want to come near here. Someone shit in a place they shouldn't have. Dude, Guys, I don't get it. That's so weird. How can he at, at one time be this cool, Jewelry wearing, drug doing <laughs> dude, and then also also at that same time be afraid of a little doo doo. <laughs> that is an even hotter take. Um, I'm <laughs> very afraid of Angry a Rabbit. Doo-doo. That's a great take. You can go to hell. <laughs> just to underline, your take is that it's just poop. No, I mean, like, well, his his thing was like, hey, I'm not going to go over there. She pooped in the bed. It's like, you're not going to go over to this. I'm sure what's a, a giant apartment or house because she pooped in the bed. I'm not you're, you're not talking about, like, staying there. You're talking about picking up some shit. Why? Why did she poop in the bed? I'm- I don't know. It, it probably isn't true. Did they also, ask in court? Like, why Why did you poop in the bed? I, I don't know. I, I honestly think it was like something where they were like, hey, this happened. And, uh, and they just knew that, like, people would run with it. Yeah, it's a diversionary tactic, right? It's the she PR said it was thing. Dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. But also, no, maybe let me say this: dog. There's no way Johnny Depp is cleaning poop, even if she like shit all over the room. There's no way he's having to go clean that up. The guy yeah, with like no. a, you know, a nine hundred thousand dollar a year wine bill. Yeah. 
Wait, is that how he, uh, so he went over to clean the poop and that's how he cut his finger? <laughs> no, he said that she threw a tequila bottle at him and it cut his thumb off. Is that Wait. true? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I got to catch up on this. It seems she was like also on MDMA. You don't. So you've, gotten, you've gotten most of the information. You can yeah. make your job. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you can do what everyone else is doing. Yeah, Deja said, that's not how cut thumb tips work. Yeah, totally. It's crazy because it's like neither of them... It, I, I don't really know. I'm totally talking out of my ass. But it's like neither of them, uh, like, it seems like they made the effort to be like, hey, let's not have our entire lives and, you know, the poop in the bed and the MDMA and the cutting of my finger. Like, let's not have all of this spill out into a courtroom. Like, they, like both of them are like, no, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going it's to court. All- yeah, we will. We will put we'll put it all out there. I'll win. No, I'll win. Yeah, probably it's, by it, the end of it, everybody's just gonna be like, ah, this is just shitty relationship. Move on. Yeah, no, totally. I think I think it's I think he's not gonna win. I think that's I would put money on that because I think it's it's really hard to prove defamation. Yeah. Uh, like because of all that you're you're claiming is that like all right this was said and this had this definitive effect on my life and yeah I don't know. I, uh, used to do a lot of coke and uh, MDMA and now I, I do more <laughs> yeah so, uh, yeah <laughs> So even if he loses, it doesn't matter. It's about showing the world what actually happened. No, it's not about what showing the world what actually happened. And I agree. Even if he doesn't win, it doesn't matter. It's about having people be like, I'm on Johnny Depp's side. It's not even about what happened. It's just about people being like, I'm on that person's side. He's okay to cast in a movie again. Can you enable shirt screen sharing? Oh, yeah, sure. What are we going to watch? Darren, did you leave the United States because of this nonsense? Uh, no, no, I, I think I'm, I'm upset that I'm not there in the States enjoying all of this, uh, hoobaloo blue. <laughs> what is the word? Hoobaloo? Hoobaloo blue. Yeah. Hoobaloo. 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 Damn it. For some reason, I still haven't figured out how Breaking to be able to screen Hollywood. share at the same time as showing your guys' faces. Uh, maybe that's how it looks on your Zoom only, but nobody else sees that. But I don't know. <clears throat> I wanted, uh, you know, I would like to figure out how, you know, to show a video where we see your faces and everyone watches the video at the same time. Nate, do you have do you have two desktops? I do. I would take everything off of one desktop. Okay. Put the put our viewer over there and then do a screen share. Do okay. do the uh, 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 desktop share and not the window share. All right, let me try this. Here, I should check on see if there's any donos or anything like that for. Or Dude, we don't have a dono. We yeah, don't have a dono. we haven't Everyone's- earned a dono. Yeah. Yeah. Just, no, it's true. Everyone's like, "This is this to, is budget newsboys," and it's like, "Yeah, yeah." Sorry, <laughs> we're, we're just call us newsboys. Budget newsboys. We're I just love that. we're just doing with, with with what we got. We're just making do with what we got. We yeah. We don't want to be the only two here. When but we're that's done, how, with, it, how it's happening? When we're done with our show, we go back to the guys and we're like, "Hey, guys." Budget Newsboys brought in five bucks. Here you go. <laughs> Put it in with the rest. You're uh, welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Let's Chad. See. You can blame Nate. Oh for man, this. there's she's got some lotion there in the corner. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. 
they they had to talk to her about uh jerking james franco off in court and they're like you can't do that is that true what? that's why the lotion's there so there is more to this story yeah. he was coming by in court there is i mean well that's not more to this that was just happening he came by and he was like i want my jerk jerks and she was like and okay what's up and with the this... judge was like you can't do that what's up with this uh fucking jacket she's wearing it's like got ripped to shreds <laughs> jesus christ it's fashion she's like i'm haggard i've been ripped apart Okay, let's see if this works. All right. Oh, shit. No, it doesn't work. The moment Amber heard news, she fucked up her trial. Oh, I really want to hear what she's saying. Is this playing like Kirby enthusiasm music? I bet it is. <laughs> Can you not hear it? Boom, boom, boom. No, no, you got to you got to share the you got to share the audio. I thought I did share it. So do I have to stop sharing to share the audio Boy, that again? Lawyer's face. Just stop sharing. He's like, God did you it. hear Hold her? On, guys, I'm sorry. Boy, it looks like the internet's uh, attacking her. They're like making fun of her. We have a Getting High with Dinosaurs donated 50 said it's a what? joy to see your beautiful faces happy SSS boys and then pop tart donated ten dollars said just donating to say hi Darren I appreciate you oh I appreciate you pop tart thank you so much hey Sam that is sixty dollars we get to bring back to the bank I mean I don't think we're called $50. budget news boys anymore like the middle class <laughs> yeah. news boys What's the biggest like news it. in England right news now? Newsboys, but on sale. Um, What'd you the say? Biggest news. I think. I. I. I mean. <clears throat> I don't know. Monkeypox is uh, is being talked about. I guess. Nobody really knows how it spread, which is weird. Like they don't understand how. One like, there's no rhyme or reason like how it gets spread. It's it's like really strange apparently. I got I got a question about monkeypox, and this this is like a a kind of um, you know this is very much playing into our whole budget newsboys thing. This isn't a hot take or anything like that, <laughs> but uh, just a question of like, and, and I might be showing my hand and how uninformed I am, but you got chicken pox, you got smallpox. Now we got monkey pox and why are we what do chickens and monkeys have to do with these pox well they started it so wait chicken pox came from chickens yeah and monkey yeah. pox came from monkeys yep without a doubt chat Chat's got my back on that one. You don't have to check. There's gerbil pox? Yep. <laughs> gerbil pox is the worst. Pop Tart says, what's next? Two pox? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Two pox. <sighs> Corn pox? What's next? Uh, Miller High Life pox? It's Did like a corona. Joke, where like. where newsboys would go here would would Trevor would make a, an uninformed take on some uh, rumor he read on Twitter. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, and he would he would back it up. No, what I heard. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Now, here's the thing. Was, was and, he would, and then he would he convince you. He'd be like, he would be like, he would make it so con like, and it makes sense. It makes sense. Like, I mean, you gotta think. Like, <laughs> you're like, no, no. <laughs> There's so much that Trevor tried to persuade or convince me some like ridiculous conspiracy theory. I'm like, 
I'm sorry, no. <laughs> <laughs> I remember in, in imagination, like back in imagination, uh, <laughs> th- in those days, there was this day where Trevor was like, was like, we, I don't know like what this was, but like we were looking at the Zapruder film and Trevor was like, look, you can see the driver turn around and shoot JFK in the head. <laughs> uh, Imagination is a TV network we used to work for. Uh, yeah. He goes, he goes, you can see the driver turn around and shoot JFK in the head. Uh, and we watched it and and we watched the thing and it was like, huh, that's weird. Uh, and then apparently Zach, we should ask Zach about this, but apparently he showed it to someone at like a family event and being like, you can see this guy shoot him in the head. And they were like, no. And he felt like the biggest <laughs> yeah. idiot. I mean, that would be such a game changer. For like it would also whole, be like, all, yeah, all how did they cover that? 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 It was a parade. Like no one was like video. the driver shot. <laughs> Like there were people there. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Oh my god! If I don't know if you can pull this up or find this, Nate. This, it, everyone's probably already seen it. I'm just really late to the game. But Sam, have you seen that GIF of like the? It's a girl, like a two year old girl, and she's like crying about something. Like she's upset, but she's holding like a, a Nerf gun. You know. Like one, like a little Nerf gun, yeah. and she's like crying because yeah. she's like upset about something, and she like turns it towards herself, and then she fires it and shoots herself in the face and starts crying even harder. <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen this. Oh I have God. not seen this. It we is should, so. We should. Funny. All right. Here, let's do it. Let's have a a, a good old fashioned YouTube party. There's two of us. There's or three of us, I guess, with Nate. I guess Nate counts. Oh, this is it. All right, this yeah, let's it. see this. This is so funny. This. You hear the audio? You don't need sound. <laughs> <laughs> what a genius. Chat, can you hear the She's audio? Gonna write a, <laughs> She's going to write an amazing album one day. No audio. Oh, God. That okay. kills me. It's like really dark. <laughs> it's just so funny. Oh, now I can hear it. <gasps> yeah, if my kid does that. I'm like, you're going to be a mission. Now, Darren, you have kids. What's your reaction if this was your own daughter? <laughs> Oh my god! I would, if I had it on camera, I'd be like, "Ah, oh, yes!" This is hilarious. Can chat hear the sound of our cat? Uh, you don't even need the sound. You you get it. It's it's okay. So they can hear it. They can hear it. Okay. Um, All right. So you want a YouTube party? Chat. Do you have any videos to make? Do you have any news related or anything uh, that we should see? Yeah, let's have chat pick uh, YouTube videos, but let's put some parameters on it. Okay. All so right. I, I'm going like in WKUK be, talk. It can't be longer than, um, what do you think? Two minutes? Didn't you want to watch a movie like earlier? <laughs> I did. I do want to watch a movie. I do no, want to no, watch a movie. That makes sense. Not have it be. But I don't. I don't think Chat wants to watch a movie. I don't know. I mean, it but is budget. We can news gong boys. show it. They can. They can boot us, and we can watch a movie. What are your Friday nights like? I think you should start doing Friday night movie nights with Darren. Oh, here, no, no comedy videos. Like as soon as we know that <laughs> something is like a skit Scripted? or something like that. You know, like it. We want to see something funny, something funny that's happening. But once as we get like wind that, like, oh, this is fake, this is stupid. Uh, yeah, if it's if it's somebody like trying so, to make us laugh, like fuck that shit. Yeah, no, we want to see people get embarrassed. And let me see what we want to see some. <laughs> Oh my 
<laughs> and let me see what you. <laughs> and let me see what you. Let's see what you have. A knife. <laughs> no. A knife. No. The like. The contrast makes that so funny. Like the the glee that the kid is saying that he has a knife with. Him. He's like a knife. He's like happy as a knife. And then just how the mother's reaction of no. It's so great. Yeah. It's so great. Uh... <laughs> All right, zombie. We have one f- that was from a wanker eighty nine. Thanks, a wanker. That was good. Thank you, sir. That's good. Is he British? Uh, no, I he spent he the night at Rosa's home, and this was one of the worst nights of my life. <laughs> I am completely drained. This is big. Ed. I haven't slept. The mattress <laughs> that I slept in was soaking wet. This was the first night I've ever spent without access to air conditioning, and I hated it. And He's I from San Diego. I know you're not comfortable her. here. Tell me the truth. This was a lot. This was a lot to. It's a lot to take in. He's in the Philippines for the first time. Rain was coming out of the holes in the ceiling. My bed is wet. <laughs> I think I just got bit by a mosquito. Yeah, it was tough. Tough. What night. does he do for a living? He's a photographer. I don't want you to be mad, but huh. I don't think I can stay here again. You can. What kind of photographer? Don't be mad. Um, of like ladies and stuff. Look at the names on the on the. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Joviel and Chloe. A little bit. This if I before the ninety days, stay, I loved this show. It I, was a I kind of want to take right you on a little vacation. What Just is the name me. of the show? Oh, before so the ninety days. There's there's ninety day fiance, and it's uh, uh, if you're not familiar, it's like you know. Um, People that I've met, uh, I think it's all international because it's like you have to be together for 90 days and then you get married and there's like a citizenship thing. So I think the 90 days has a lot to do with um, immigration status and citizenship and stuff. So this season that came out was called Before the 90 Days. And the greatest thing about this was it was before the people had even met. So you're you're following these couples like... um, them meeting for the first time and it uh, you know some of them worked out i think but like a lot of them were train wrecks you know um Mm. so this guy is from san diego and his name is big ed and he has a condition um where he has less neck than most people and um he starts talking to this lady from the philippines and then he goes to the philippines to meet her and he's also like i think five one but he told her he was like five eight or something like that and uh he's like meeting her uh dad for the first time it's yeah it's it's a nightmare this is a seven minute video zombie vendor they yeah we can't watch that yeah that's seven minutes um but um it's it's a great show um just because of how fun. much of a nightmare it is um he he doesn't like any of this uh philippine stuff um he's showering with her dad nice. he did not like that this has to be the weirdest experience of my life <laughs> all right what's the next nice. video it's great it though seems... oh i we could send timmy on something like this oh <laughs> wow that's you know get to me a 90 that. day f- yeah we gotta get to me a 90 day fiance yeah, it's like we either have to have him run for mayor of Watertown or become a 90 day fiance. I'm still for mayor of Watertown. I think that could happen. Yeah, I think it could happen too. Do you think enough of chat would move to Watertown to legally change their address ah. to be able to vote for him? I bet there's a loophole. I bet there's some forms we can have people fill out. Okay. And I, I but but if Tim if Timmy like if if he ran for mayor, like wh- whoever he ran against, I I feel like they would destroy. I've him. heard so- they would destroy Timmy. Yeah, they would totally just destroy him. In, I don't in think like, he's I don't think he's built for it. Like the, if, the, if the whole like mayor like you know personal ads and 
uh, bashing the other one, you know, history, you, stuff like you that. You think it's too nice? I feel like, huh? I think, I think Timmy nice would it? be, I, I think Timmy would be nice. Uh, but I think the whoever he's running against, which is probably going to be a, you know, like a, a Republican or whatever, it's probably just, it's just like go after him. He'd be so cold and, and, and Timmy would get broken. So. Well, I Timmy's been broken before become, and he came back. Timmy's yeah, resilient. I just don't want to see. Yeah. There's, there's hurt, one way. There's one thing we can, we know about Timmy. It's that that guy can take a beating, you know, like you can just like treat that guy like shit and he just bounces right back. Yeah, that's what I love about him, man. That's what we I love. Throw that's my his strength. Bottle at him. <laughs> yeah. Scream at him. And, and he's and like, "Yes, sir. Bed. Can and I have like, another?" He'll wake me up in the morning, ask if he can make me breakfast. <laughs> he's so great. <laughs> All right, what is up with this dog? Okay, okay. Let's, All right, Sam, you sent me uh, you sent me an email, but it has no nothing in it. Uh, I'm trying to send you. I think we watched this on stream before, but. I've heard some very interesting noises come out of pets throughout the years, but this dog definitely takes the number one spot as the best screamer. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Axel. This is Axel, and he's a one-year-old Hazen and American Eskimo mix. Aww. When his human-like screams did not stop the madness, he decided to try his hand at the hyena cackle. I hope this is a good ending. It was apparent that I was torturing him, <laughs> and Axel's world as he knew it ceased to exist. All he has left now is his ability to deafen his enemies. Or so I thought. <laughs> Why is she wearing the um, beekeeper hat? Yeah. For obvious reasons, I placed him in a muzzle in order to be able to finish his blow dry. After he was dry, I brushed him out with my Chris Christensen coral brush. Ooh, name drop. <laughs> yeah. And then I went video. over him with my metal comb. And I switched over to my undercoat rake to deshed him. I clipped his nails. Well, boy. Without the muzzle, too. Aww. Aww. And shaving out his paw pads was a little bit of a challenge. Oh, don't you know that's the thing you did? You know <laughs> Gotta put the muzzle paw. back on. I tidied up yeah. his grinch feet, and then I sprayed him down in Mango Tango cologne. And Axel is thankful to be all finished. Today, for our pet of the day, we have four-year-old Shadow, who looks seriously done with his owner's BS. If you'd like to have your pet <laughs> featured on the channel, please read the description for more information. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the anxious Axel. Here. What'd you think of Anxious uh, Axel? Uh, I give that uh, a, a four out of uh, three out of ten. Two out of ten. Okay, Naya mix. Yeah. Sam is vicious. Was that Naya? Sorry, Naya. Sometimes it's gonna be heat. Not today. Just trying stuff out. Naya. Just trying stuff out. It's okay. <laughs> This is from the deleted scenes. <laughs> a little All bit right. of a comedy thing there. A little Kicked bit of a comedy thing. Kicked it back up. That was a seven. Okay. I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I just, uh, you know, I felt like I was in the internet, so that was great. 
Oh, wait, hold on. I, I have a shout out because apparently on November 13th, we missed giving someone a shout out on their birthday. And on November 13th. Yeah. And they included Emily in the like, hey, can you give me a shout out? And then she just got back on Twitter and was like, you need to give this person a shout out. So shout out to Tina Herman Huey. Yeah, well, there you go. It's that <laughs> She's not watching. In the carport She's not tonight. watching. She's not watching and there's not anybody in chat who knows her. So I'm sleeping in the carport tonight. If, if I didn't do that. Leaping in the carport. You know, I never heard of carport until I met you guys. Whoa, hold on. Lydia Petu, an artist, uh, artist extraordinaire, um, dropped 200 bucks and what? said, Hi, hon. It's from. Chickennotkittens.com. This ain't budget newsboys no more. Get yourselves some jewels to bedazzle your suits. Love you guys. Wow. And then Trevor's actual ghost said that. I never said that. Also, watch our sketch. You can see me. Question mark. I don't think Trevor would want to watch a Darren and Sam sketch. <laughs> Why not? Um, just, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't think that would be a sketch he would choose. What's up with this uh, dog with the dog dick grown out of its head? I'm just going down the list of, of links Chad is giving us. He's truly the most normal puppy there is with a tail on his face. <laughs> wait, wait. Narwhal. That's a stupid sentence. <laughs> Narwhal. Truly the most normal puppy there is with a tail on his face. <laughs> so you're no. saying... The... I just giggled. I thought he was literally the most adorable little anomaly that was perfect. The vet saw him yesterday. He saw him again this afternoon. Um, we all absolutely feel like it's a tail. <laughs> Little anomaly that was perfect. He is sassy and chubby and completely happy and has no clue what is happening around his universe right now that he's famous. Yeah, because he's a fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> we have yeah. 7,000 yeah, you know who, who else doesn't know what's happening in their universe? All the other fucking dogs. <clears throat> yeah, my dog thinks it's a person. <laughs> my dog's confused when we have dinner at night and why she doesn't get any of the dinner that we get. <laughs> I thought the video is going to be like... It's not going to be like... <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I again? just, I just. Who cares? <laughs> well, I thought the video was going to be like, oh, well, we, uh, once we learned that the dog was growing a tail out the front of his head, we started beating him. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you thought the video was going? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Dad. Okay. <laughs> This dog with a deformity is perfect. I like how chat is too nice for Darren. <laughs> okay, let's see what the next one is then. Uh, oh, okay, here you go, Darren. Um, yeah. <laughs> He's beating his butt. <laughs> no, you ever into a fight and you don't know what to do, so you just start pulling the guy's pants down? <laughs> in the butt but he only hit him in the butt cheek twice and he like stopped because he was like oh I'm hitting him in the butt I'm not going to do this <laughs> sorry <laughs> no he got it he was jamming his fingers up in there oh yeah. Jesus his t-shirt his said I love that guy's like that guy's like you said assault I didn't know 
what kind of assault you meant. Next time, be more specific. Here, get my fingers in there. <laughs> and the guy just goes in the door, and he's like, I'm done. It was his birthday, though, yeah. so. I'm going home. <laughs> Right. Well, that was that was all right. All right, we gotta rate these. We gotta rate them. This it's right. fun to rate them. Okay. Wait, wait. Who's which one has rated the highest? It's the first one, right? Um. Yes, the girl shooting herself in the head that you picked. No, 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 not that one. Uh, <laughs> the kid with the knife. Not mine. <laughs> what do you have there? Uh, it's a yes, knife. The, okay. the kid with the knife is. I think that's the best no! one so far. No! Yeah. I know. No! Yeah. No! Okay. That's great. What do you All right. There? Kid with a knife's no, got a no, nine. That Americans call a rock melon a cantaloupe. Oh, I just found out that Americans call a flicky flicky willy donka a fucking light switch, man. <laughs> that one's, that one's very Darren specific. That Americans call a rock melon a cantaloupe. It's Australians, though. Oh, I just found out that Americans caught a flicky flicky willy donka, a fucking light switch, man. <laughs> a flicky flicky willy donka. I just found out that. Willy donka. Darren, <laughs> what do you think of that? I love it. Uh, it's funny because uh, uh, Tom and Katie, they're coming to visit us uh, next month or something like that. Oh, wow. Cool. Um, and. With the kids? Uh, it, yeah, with the kids and uh, and I've been tell he's like tell me some stuff that uh, Otis has got to get excited for for like trying and stuff like that. It's like oh well, we can uh, we can uh, have some like uh, vanilla fluffy fluffs and <laughs> from the the poo poo store and just making up all this silly language and Tom <laughs> is like telling Otis about all this <laughs> crazy I don't know muffins and shit that we're gonna eat. With silly names, guys. If if you want us to watch a video, go to the Discord. And if you want to, if you don't know how to get to the Discord, just go into the about us. On yeah, we're Twitter. having a YouTube party. Having a YouTube party. If you put it in chat, we're not going to see it. Because I say that because I'm actually looking at someone's suggestion right now. Um, maybe we should watch that suggestion. Though. This looks good. So the context is a Canadian mall in the 90s had to make your own music video station. This is this man's touching rendition of Backstreet Boys. Mm. I don't is that know what I look like? You don't look like that. Is that what I look like? I... No, you don't. Okay. So this was an actual Backstreet Boys song, right? Yeah. But this is, I don't think this is an actual recording of a back. This is like right, a redo. You can, stop. you can stop it. I think we get it. Okay. Uh, Sam, you can. Uh, uh, that's all, Sam. You got a haircut. In Zoom chat, Sam. I. Okay. In Zoom chat. I give that, I give that a four out of 10. Yeah, I give that, that a four right. out of 10. That makes sense. Uh, there's a new Pixar movie called Turning Red. And uh, they're in the movie, there's like this boy band that these little girls like they're in love with. They're called like Four Town. <laughs> and it's like five boys in this band called Four Town. Uh, and, <laughs> and there's like all these songs that Pixar wrote for these boys to sing. And they're all amazing. They're all so good. It's like one song is like, Hey girl, you know what's up? 
Hey, you know what's <laughs> up? It's almost it's just like making fun of being a boy band, but they're so much fun to listen to. They're the best songs. It's great. <laughs> Anyways, thought I'd share that. That's high praise. <laughs> Some critics have noted that you've yet to work with any female collaborators. Look, I am so tired of this issue. I was championing women's music in a place where even knowing a woman could get you killed. Important bands like Tiga Suffrage and the Equality Comet or Tiga Harriet and Right Woman for the Job, both of which have since been covered by Miss Bonnie Raitt. <laughs> What? <laughs> that was a weird part. That Wait, that what? is like um uh so so I, I I put that in. That's that's a clip of a thing. It's a it's a two part seven minute interview with Tiga, the the production producer, uh, dance music guy. It's really he's Canadian. It's really fucking dry. He's very um he's very funny. He's an odd dude. Um, but uh, I didn't want to play the seven minute video, so I saw there was a 30 second clip, and I'm like, I'll see if this is funny. But uh, you know, I, I don't think it was out of context. Well, it's, that's all right. Wait, I, wait, I appreciate wait. you trying. I yeah. it gave me an idea, though. I have the, one that I, I'd like the, to throw in. Yeah, throw it in the chat, um, in the Zoom chat. The, the best part about uh, it is if anyone was wants he to trying watch, to make oh. us laugh? No, well, he's was being, he trying to make us laugh? <laughs> Um, I, think he was. I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. The, the I funniest part for me. Laugh and you disobeyed the one rule. Oh, okay. So it's not supposed to be funny. Is the, is the, is no, it's the supposed rule? to be funny. Okay. It's not supposed to be like, Someone who's yelling no at their kid for having a knife. That's they're not funny. trying to be funny. Okay. Let's see it what this is one funny. is. Yeah. <clears throat> this, this one's not from me. This one's from someone in chat. Is that a trumpet? Get out! You're no artist, you suck. You're no artist. Yeah, it's a trumpet. You suck. I've been playing 41 years. You suck. I'm a left handed guitarist. You suck. No! 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 You go. Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! <laughs> Abby so Sally young. said, I love whiplash. <laughs> Abby Sally cracks me up. Abby Sally, yeah. Abby Sally's funny. Interesting. Anybody know who you are? Maybe everybody else wants to enjoy the peace and quiet. This is one of the most important places in all of North America. Who are you? Who are you? You miserable presumptuous, no talent. You're no artist. An artist respects the silence. It serves as the foundation of creativity. I love how the, nobody's saying Obviously anything to this guy. Talent. You don't have enough respect for yourself or other people, or what it is to express yourself. In music, we're really in the form of creativity. And I'm an NYU film school graduate, sucker, and the School of Visual Arts at hey. the Academy of Art University in San Francisco. That's where you went to school, you Sam. Suck. You are no talent. If you really had yeah. talent, go practice and then get yourself a gig instead of ruining the end of the day for everybody down here. You disgrace. You are everything that's gone wrong in this world. You are self consumed, no talent, Someone's having a bad mediocre day. piece of shit. Jeez. And I've earned my right to say it. Okay? I had 200,000 people with Bill Graham. In 1975, I walked Bob Dylan up on stage. Whoa. Who the fuck are you? I knew the Grateful Dead from 1966. I've seen this before. Who the fuck are you? You nothing. We can do something next. You nothing. This is every letterbox you review. You nothing. <laughs> you never. 
That's another Abby How Sally. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? You miserable, mediocre nothing. What a great character. I get, I get why uh, Garfunkel quit the band, huh? <laughs> Stupid little smile. I, I, yeah, I hope they're like workshopping like an acting play. character here. Go more to play. You're flat. You can't even carry a fucking note. I don't care about your little like horn lip. It doesn't mean that you know how to play. You're flat. I'm trained classically. <laughs> flat. I'm trained contemporaneously. All right, you enough. suck. Go away. Leave no. 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 In what situations would you care so much about something where you would spend this much time telling somebody they were bad at something? Can you ever, can you think of any situation in your life where you would like do that? No, I just don't see the, uh, the point, the effort, yeah. even if I was really mad. Yeah. Abby Sally says, damn friend Leibowitz was mad. Ah, you're killing me. Abby Sally. <laughs> <laughs> I threw one in the chat, Nate. I got it. Next up. I, I liked that video. I this haven't seen it before. This one is uh uh this one's a shout out to my boy Z, because this is like one of his favorites. And actually he does an amazing impression of this uh this interview. When you say your boy Z, are you talking about Zach? Yeah. <laughs> Senator Collins, thanks for coming in. It's a great pleasure, thank you. This ship that was involved in the incident off Western Australia this week... Yeah, the one the front if... fell off? Yeah. Yeah, that's not very typical. I'd like to make that point. Well, how is it untypical? Well, there are a lot of these ships going around the world all the time, and very seldom does anything like this happen. I just don't want people thinking that tankers aren't safe. Was this tanker safe? Well, I was thinking more about the other ones. The ones that are safe? Yeah, the ones the front doesn't fall off. Well, if this wasn't safe, why did it have 80,000 tonnes of oil on it? Well, I'm not saying it wasn't safe. It's just perhaps not quite as safe as some of the other ones. Why? Well, some of them are built so the front doesn't fall off at all. Well, wasn't this built so the front wouldn't fall <laughs> off? Well, obviously not. How do you know? Well, because the front fell off and 20,000 tonnes of crude oil spilled into the sea court fire. It's a bit of a giveaway. I just like to make the point that that is not normal. Well, what sort of standards are these uh, oil tankers built to? Oh, very rigorous maritime engineering standards. What sort of thing? Well, the front's not supposed to fall off for a start. And what other things? Well, there are uh, regulations governing the uh, materials that they can be made of. What materials? Well, cardboard's out. And? No cardboard derivatives. <laughs> like paper? No paper. No string, no sellotape. Rubber? No, rubber's out. Um, they've got to have a steering wheel. There's a minimum crew requirement. What's the minimum crew? Oh, one, I suppose. So the allegations that they're just designed to carry as much oil as possible uh, <laughs> oh, and all the consequences, I mean, that's ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. These are very, very strong vessels. So what happened in this case? Well, the front fell off in this case by all means, but it's very unusual. But Senator Collins, why did the front book fall off? <laughs> well, a wave hit it. A wave hit it? A wave hit the ship. Is that unusual? Oh, yeah. At sea chance in a million. So what do you do to protect the environment in well, cases like this? Well, the though? ship was towed outside the environment. Into another environment? No, no, no. It's been towed beyond the environment. It's yes, not in the environment. A... No, but from one environment to another environment. No, it's beyond the environment. It's not in an environment. It well, has it been be towed somewhere. beyond the environment. Well, what's out there? Nothing's out there. Well, there must be something out there. There is nothing out there. All there is is sea and birds and fish. And? And 20,000 tonnes of crude oil. And what else? And a fire. And anything else? And the part of the ship that the front fell off. But there's nothing else out there. Senator Collins, thanks for it's joining us. a complete us. void. Yeah, we're out of time. The environment's perfectly safe. We're out of time? Yeah. Can you book me a cab? But didn't you come in a Commonwealth car? Yes, I did. But... What happened? No, well, the front fell off. <laughs> Do it. Those guys are that, like... That's uh, a... That, what? Sorry, go ahead. That's a sketch. Oh, that's totally a sketch. That's a sketch. That's a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I broke the rules. I'm sorry. But, yeah. Darren, you know what? You know what? You can break the rules. Because it's your show. Sweet. It's your show. That um, reminds me of there was one again, where though. they would have an interview and they would go places. So he's like at a marina and talking about this boat that they're launching. And they're doing this interview while the boat is being like cut in half in the background. And they're like, oh, and they would they would do the whole thing. It was very similar. They would go to like a building being like imploded and talk about the grand opening of the building. And then it would blow up. And they were like, oh, no. I couldn't find it for you, so. What do you got next, Sam? Hey, Nate. Uh, throw up this one by Vicious Bix Biscuit. All right, Vicious Biscuit. Mm -hmm. I got, uh, I think it's a prank. I think he's pulling. I think My guess is Vicious Br Biscuit yeah. is trolling us. I just threw it in chat. 
Hi, my name is Carla Shaw. You can stop at five or six stores or just one. I don't need friends. They disappoint me. Hi, I'm Todd LaRue. You can stop at five or six stores or just one. I feel like a deer in the headlights of love. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. You could stop at five or six stores, or just one. <laughs> you could stop at five or six stores, or just one. Can I ask you kind of a weird question? You could stop at five or six good, stores, or just mm. one. I am the queen oh, of the universe. This is bad comedy. The waves part, and they engulf me, and the water is warm. Or just one. I can see the Statue of Liberty from here. The context here was uh, a compilation five or six stores of or just auditions for McDonald's commercials it back in the night. People Hilarity say is. that time heals all wounds. That's pretty good. That reminds me, um, there was a Twitch channel called yeah. Museum of Home Video, and unfortunately they got too many um, on Twitch, so they stopped doing their channel altogether. But they had this one, and it was like, they found this video, and it was, um, who, who played the original Penguin? Was that Meredith Burgess? Or maybe it was the Riddler. And he was like, introducing, oh wait, Hold on. Sound get weird. Sorry, guys. Give me one sec. Um, and, and it was just like acting reels of stuff. It, it was it was great. It was from the 80s. Um, anyway. What's next? What's next? Girl, you, you know you want what's me up. Uh, yeah, Here's I don't. One. Okay. All right, I'll just throw them in the chat. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. find them from the... There are so many in the Discord now. Um, oh, there's a whole bunch. You want it, needed it, go, you got it. Are you singing Four Boys? Four Town. Four, four Town. Town. I was going to say Foreskin, and I was like, it's not Foreskin. Yeah. Four Town. <laughs> So good. All right, maybe you've seen the billboard near the Highland Strip or heard the story on Wednesdays Live at 9. A campaign called Birds Are Not Real brings its efforts to the Mid-South. And this morning we are joined by one of the messengers of the movement. Peter McIndoe is here to tell us how this all came about. We want to emphasize you were not the founder. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so how did you become aware of it? What is the message of the movement? The message of the movement is essentially to spread awareness that from 1959 through 2001, the government mercilessly genocided over 12 billion birds and simultaneously replaced them with surveillance drones in disguise that film us every day as equally as these cameras are filming us right now. So what do you have to back that up? To back that up, I have as much evidence as the birds have provided. There's so much. So this is really satire. I mean, you don't really believe that that happened, correct? This is a satirical uh, campaign to make the point that what? <laughs> you're, you're looking at me like, no, it's not satire. I really do believe this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awesome. It's kind of offensive. Um, okay. So it's not satire. I don't think you would say that if I said birds are real. You know? I don't know why the other side of the argument can't be treated with equal respect. Except you know? that before we came out on air, you said this is a satirical message. So what is I the never said that. So what point are you trying to make here? I mean, and why, why did this movement come about and how? Well, well this movement came about in she 1976. She blew his cover. Um, just to avoid any, you know, liberal media hit job. This didn't start with me. This started in 1976 um, when whispering started coming about from the White House saying that birds were in the process of being murdered on a mass level. When this started coming about, 
that's when the movement began. This movement is reactionary. We really didn't start this. The government started this. How come it took so long to get billboards up and for any of us to hear about this? That's an excellent question. So really before the internet age, before the internet era, it was very easy to censor ideas and opinions that aren't popular and that people don't agree with. Mm -hmm. um, now true. that we have the internet, there are no more book burnings, there are no more censored television ads. Well, there are attempts to do all of that, but you're right. It's that, like Arab Spring. <laughs> it, it's very grass, grassroots, ground So where does up. this movement go from here? From here, we're looking to see change in legislation. We're, we're looking to see a mass spread awareness are lawmakers, though, really taking this seriously? Because a lot of people will have their doubts or have their questions about whether There's another minute left. the movement is really serious or not. Yeah, I think we're done. Yeah, yeah that's people are yelling really skits and chat. Part of this, honestly. The, the Thanks, thing Dave. I loved about be that better. is the fact. I, I loved that the lady was calling him out. Yeah. I'm laughing at, at him. And not really? at him for being crazy. At him for like trying to pull off this like this prank and just having them call him out on it. That was, that was yeah, really yeah. fun. He let them you in on it, which they, is silly. Yeah. And he'd like he I don't think he thought that she would do that. And yeah. he's like, I have to stay in character. Oh fuck. That's, okay. Darren I think Sam has seen it, but maybe you haven't. But Darren, have you seen the the I think his name is Mark Pro Pro He's, he's, um, Prosh. 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 he does like the yo-yo master and it's like, he goes on these programs and he's like a yo-yo master, but it's like this full dry put on, you know, where like, he doesn't really know how to yo-yo. So he does all these things and they keep having him back because like, he always pulls it where like something happens. Like, and <laughs> you know how like a phone, your cell phone can like fuck up microphones and shit. He has one where like he tells them like his dad's sick and in the hot. Uh, I'm not going to explain the, the joke part of it. Anyway, what's next? Uh, I put one in the chat. All right. Anyway, that's funny. You guys should look up Yo-Yo Master. Mark I'll look Brooks. it up. I'll, ch I'll check out the Yo-Yo one. Uh, you know what's really funny is uh, do you see when. Oh, what are those really good home shopping network YouTube videos that we used to watch, Sam? Oh, like, I like the, it. um... Oh, the thing that breaks? Oh, uh oh, uh -oh. don't look behind you. Uh-oh, don't look behind you. Oh! Right in the nuts. I feel that's brothers just doing brother stuff, right? That's me there, and then Sam coming up behind me. <laughs> Also, I love the reactions of these two people. They're not even, they're not even, like, Aww. giving a shit. Um, I like uh. the people submitting videos. I like when they're under a minute long. But, like, watch this guy's face. Yeah, if you have a, vid a video under a minute, uh, the chances <laughs> go way up. If us getting to watch it. <laughs> Oops. All, All of right. us. Here's a, here's a 10 seconder. Sweet. We should just switch to TikTok oh. and start watching TikToks. <laughs> Are you on TikTok, Sam? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I made a Whitest Kids TikTok, but I haven't done anything with it. Oh, that was good. I gotta watch that again. <laughs> good job pooping. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's look is like, are you <laughs> The dog's face is great! <laughs> 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 Don't start my fart says I won't back pats while I take a shit. <laughs> I feel I I don't think I would like somebody touching me in any way no, while I'm pooping. <laughs> me neither. Me neither. You know, I, I the thing with the uh, I like get kind of excited because like when I have to poop, I'm like, oh, I get to pull out my phone. I'll check something out. And like just as I pull something up, like I'm done pooping. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> but have you ever notice like you're done pooping and you're like, you're still just sitting on your phone. And it's like five minutes later, like I finished yeah. pooping like a while ago. <laughs> like I, I, should, I should probably wipe up and get out of here. <laughs> It's a safe space, though, you know, like no one expects you to do anything. Yeah. 
Emily every once in a while is like, you have to have been, you have to be finished. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> what, is she like and yelling yeah. into the door? Like, please. Yeah. And you're like, nope, still going. <laughs> <clears throat> it's long. It's curling. I've had to flush halfway through. Um, Adventures of Interest says, I feel that's a parent thing, especially. Is that it, Darren? You're trying to get away from your kids for five minutes? Um, well, yeah, there's a little bit of that. But I mean, you know, not so much anymore now that my kids are a little bit older. But yeah, when they're young, it's like, yeah, you need just like a dumb. space. Lou Reed said, I submitted the video of a kid on a rail thing. It made me laugh harder than anything in recent memory, and I'm wondering if there's something wrong with me. That uh, piques my interest. I saw a video I earlier really of a British guy eating a bunch of hot chips, and then he also put the hot sauce in his eyeball and his nostril and up his butt and his balls, and he regretted it. <laughs> on purpose? Okay. He did it on was purpose. It accidental. And- and then when he regretted it, um, it, it, I, it's like one of those things where I don't think he really thought it through, you know, like he was, uh, hurting. He was doing that thing that dogs do where they rub their butt against stuff. Hmm. <laughs> God, that's such a gross thing to watch. Disaster Tron said, this ain't Newsboys, but it's Newsboys too. No, this oh, is wait. not Newsboys. Do we watch the same thing? Did I just copy the same link? They really like it. They really like yeah. it. No, that was me. I copied the wrong link, so I'm sorry. I liked it. I thought that video was good. Joe's barbecue and foot massage. Joe's barbecue and foot massage. You better come down here, get some of this shit. You like to eat? America loves to eat. So why not open up somewhere America can sit down, enjoy a meal, and get their feet rubbed? We'll fry anything you want for $5.99. As long as it's friable or edible, we're gonna make it deliciousable. We will fry parts of the chicken you didn't even know was friable. The beak, the feathers, we'll fry candy bars. All that European stuff that you don't really normally eat, we'll bring it down here and fry it for you. Ask McDonald's to fry something other than what they normally eat. This, fry. Is, this, this has eat. to be a sketch, Nothing. right? If it fit through the this dough, seems I'll like a bit. Fry. Hell, this it's is two dinosaur. minutes long. All our meats are gently tenderized to their optimum deliciousness we got are you, are you blowing the whistle on this sam sam yeah, I'm, I'm just saying like i'm enjoying it somebody broke the rule again it wasn't me this time it wasn't darren it's was funny here we go oops this one is said to be in the same vein as the trumpet guy Oh, I saw some your mom's house. Tell us why you're flowed! <laughs> Tell us why you're flowed! Why, why, why are you flowed? I want to go shopping in the Eaton Center. Why are you lock why are you closing your doors? Why are you locking your doors to the public? Why? Tell us the reason why! I love people why? losing their shit in public. Yeah, me too. Tell us the reason. Tell us the reason why. Why are you putting people through this? Why? Why? <laughs> why are you putting us through this? Who gave you the right? Who gave you the right? By what right do you exclude the population? Why? What if it's a push door the whole you? time and he's just been pulling? <laughs> How dare you do this to Is that Dan Aykroyd? We are the Toronto <laughs> public. We want to shop. We want to get into the Eaton Center. It is a public place. It says it's open until 7 o'clock. Why are you closed? Why? Why? Tell us why. <laughs> Outrage, the, the title is Outraged Protester, and protesters in quotes, defies lockdown during G20 Summit in Toronto. <laughs> Doesn't anyone else care? It's just a spectacle to say? you. It's just a spectacle to you. It's just funny. <laughs> Let the police cut off my balls. I don't mind because it's the cops and they're always right. Right? You want to go shopping? 
Mm. You don't give a shit, do you? Not really. Not really. Then why don't you go fuck off with your camera and stop? Stop film. I'm saying I'm not giving you permission to film me. You're, All right? You're in a you don't have place. permission. Huh? But you're in a public. No, place. no, it's closed. It's no, closed. This is actually a privately <laughs> held. Uh... Oh, really? You're going to explain it to me? Well, tell me why they're closed. I don't know. Cadillac Fairview doesn't want you in. Oh, Cadillac Fairview doesn't want me in? That's why they closed the whole place? Well, apparently. Are you nuts? Are you crazy? I just walked over here for Christ's sake. <laughs> that was good. I like that. He just doesn't want you in. <laughs> People flipping out in public. That's great. Is it? It's Kevin a Van Dyke has said his OnlyFans has three subs. Well, four now. That guy has an OnlyFans? <laughs> no, I don't know. No, Sam's does. Sam's OnlyFans. I haven't checked my OnlyFans. Yeah, mine. I don't know how many people follow me anymore. My foot picks. All right, what do you got next? Darren, are uh, you on the Discord? What's up? Are you on Discord? No, I'm not. I'm not on it right now. I, dude, if I run Discord and Zoom and chat at the same time, my, my computer will literally blow up. All right. I got to buy a new This might be... I it probably isn't. Okay, Sam, if you're if chat if you're if you weren't paying attention, Sam's looking for the real shit. Not the sketches. Not the skits. I'm also I'm looking for the uh the there's there's a whole bunch of like home shopping network uh funny videos. Shit that's gone wrong. On he air. used to get high and watch the um, knife show all the time. And, the and Baby Kenny show. Johnson just off the green, Peter. He is not distracted because there is right now a deer sucking Whoa. off another deer <laughs> on the side of the green. Look at the replay. Stays down, stays through it. The ball releases to the hole, but once again, a deer is sucking off another deer. <laughs> Look how the one deer is just looking right at the camera. Like right at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> is that, I, I don't think that's TOS, right? Because it's animals. <laughs> well, maybe he was just getting milk. It, yeah, right. it's just getting milk. It has to, of course. It's just I getting mean, milk. You just don't and fillet Kenny other Johnson deers. Just off the green, Peter. He <laughs> that's a doe, and that's a fawn. None of these are bucks. Yeah. <laughs> That's just thirsty deer action. <laughs> that deer wanted it. Oh, uh, that's great. <laughs> he wanted it. <laughs> oh. There's a deer sucking off another deer. <laughs> oh, what's up with that uh, the She-Hulk or whatever? Like, does that look really bad or what? <laughs> Did you see the <laughs> teaser like for that? Um, I did not. She she's like not uh, strong. I saw it. She's just like I just found one. Of she found what? She the She Hulk. She's just green. She's like there's no muscles or anything. Is she supposed to be more muscly? I just found well, one the of the most secret no? place. Oh, I, I saw a thing and it looked like she was like twice the size of the person she was staying next to. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I feel like She-Hulk is some weird um, fetish part of it, though. You know, like there's there's something else going on there, right? Okay. Well, it is the weird because I or, 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 I feel talk. like the the She-Hulk she, she Hulk show She-Hulk she She-Hulk she she uh, <laughs> I feel like I feel like the the She Hulk show is like made in this like you know like hey it's like a, a in the same way that like Captain Marvel is where it's like you know girls should have a superhero but when you look at the comic book of She Hulk one of the covers I was looking at this, one of the covers is is She Hulk naked with like paper or like a towel like a small towel over her and the the thing is like. You guys wanted it. Well, here it is, and and she's like, "No, I'm not. I'm. Not, are you serious?" And it's like, I feel like She Hulk as a comic book was made for like horny young nerds. Yeah, 
as a that's former probably gamer, exactly yes it awakens something inside of me <laughs> and, and now maybe, there's gonna know, be all of this hulk she hulk yeah it's a new generation of awakenings <laughs> All right, ready for I just found. Oh, She Hulk was a satire of the comic book industry. Oh, okay. I just found one of the most secret places on Earth. Even the FBI doesn't want you to know. Check it out. If you zoom here, you keep zooming in this place, and then you change it to street view, you will find this. Looks familiar? Look closely. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run. Away. I just found one of the most secret places. You just got Rick uh, rolled. You just got Rick rolled. Okay. Man, I'm really they fucking Rick rolled pissed off show. about that. When you put this up on VOD, you cut this part out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should I just blank it out? I don't want no one. Here? No one should see us get Rick rolled. That's embarrassing. Who submitted that, Sam? Not, Call them out. Uh, I will say Lizard Lizard Queen submitted the deer blowing another deer on a golf course. So that was thank pretty you, Lizard good, Queen. Lizard Queen. That's uh, nine out of ten. Oh, that was yeah. Niamix. Wow, oh, Niamix nine, again. Nine, wow. Niamix is so good on Trailer Boys. Darren, you got to get on Trailer Boys because I know you love rating things. Oh, yeah. I'm all about rating stuff. Like I've already all see those like nine pictures behind Sam. Yes. I've rated all of them <laughs> in my mind. That's how I work. What's your number one? The number one? Yeah. Of all those? The pictures yeah. behind me. Oh yeah. I think it's Trevor. Oh, uh, that's you're oh. just pandering to chat now. T Dog. Yeah, I am. All right, it's the blue and red heads. <laughs> that is actually a, a show poster from the meltdown that Trevor and I did, so it's still Trevor. Okay, never mind. Are all of those Trevor related posters behind <laughs> you. All right, what's next? Are all, all these Trevor related? No. You suck at cooking, yeah, you totally. Sorry, I, I, I moved everything around when I was... This is a four-minuter. Oh, jeez, guys. It's a four-minuter. We're going to start by taking three-quarters of a cup. Okay. You suck at cooking, yeah, you uh, totally I've, I've seen suck. Some of these, We're going to start by taking three-quarters of a cup of potato milk. Feel free to use cow water if you like. And heat that in the laser beam box until it's between 105 and 115 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature is important so that it doesn't kill the 2.5 teaspoons of instant yeast we're adding, and also so it doesn't frighten this teaspoon of sugar. Fun fact, yeast can make any object rise. Just sprinkle some on and... But guys, just because it can make anything rise doesn't mean it's a license to go sprinkling it all over your dick. Now we'll wait 5 or 10 minutes for that to froth up like a mad dog. Good boy, Sparky. And if it doesn't foam, congratulations, your yeast is dead and you're a failure. Now we'll take two tablespoons of just melted butter, not too hot, along with a quarter cup of sugar. Now give an egg a nice warm Chat bath before cracking skip. it in so it doesn't bring the temperature Chat, down too much. Yes, just just in there. Yeah, this is in sketch. another bowl, we'll take 2.5. This is okay. someone trying to be funny. Rules have been broken, chat. Mm. Sam told you what the rules were. I don't know. I think the girl with the Nerf gun is the best one, best video of the night so far. Uh, yeah, deer sucking pick. each other off. Yeah. No. That doesn't make me laugh as hard. Here we will explore true facts about the ostrich. This is five the minutes long, guys. Is like the bird you would turn into if you met a d genie. I don't mean a d genie that's different i mean a genie who is being this is a comedy genie. skip Which it granted. Yes. Skip. next now who is it that's uh, right, so uh kevin the context Hart. of this one is 
do this to Timmy, so I hope this is TOS. I hope this is just the deer video again. <laughs> Suck Timmy's dick. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer this discretion is, is advised. Five minutes long. Sounds like the intro to Muscle Show. Yeah. Ooh, ah. Okay. So he's gonna ignore these guys. Uh -huh. Can I mute it? I feel like if I mute it, that's more fun for me. <laughs> it's just, yeah. are you ready? I agree. Like the whole time. The thing is, if you're going to smoke a cigarette, you know there's a guy right there ready to throw a pie at you. How is there five minutes of this? And it, he's calling everything. At his, I should smoke a cigarette. I should yawn now. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is a comedy video. Mm. All right. Here, this one's a short one. The, this is Squid Games, you're right. What's your name? My name? Oh, let me tell you my name. Uh, I'm confused <laughs> because, uh, <laughs> you know, like we're supposed to believe in the ministry, right? So is the, <laughs> is, is the church and state supposed to be separate? I'm confused because I never went to school. Right? Is a confused person get a resolution? I don't understand. You see, when you go like that, right, you have a cross, two sticks, right? And that's how I felt when I was in Waterloo. Because when I walked in Waterloo and smiled at people, they treated me like a vampire. They used the cross and they went like this by not smiling at me. In Toronto, hey, hi guys, you know me, Steve Spiros, easy going. <laughs> Don't there you go, Steve Spiros. So it took 56 seconds to answer the question, what's your name? <laughs> He's great. <laughs> there we go, 56 seconds. That's uh, a new world record. All right, hold on, Sam, I'm gonna get your next one. I like that because like it, doesn't, it doesn't seem like a plant. It doesn't, that just seems like a crazy person, right? Or, mm -hmm. you know, that's how my mom tells stories. She must, mind. in her mind, she must be going, oh, my God. You think she realizes, like, how great, like, what she has is? Is she like, no, she's I think not she's changed. like, just like, look at her facial expression. It's great. She, she's Those afraid you know for me. her life. I'm a nobody. You understand? <laughs> and you can't kill a person with no body. <laughs> so why am I afraid? I'm not afraid. I'm afraid of Where the is boogeyman. This? Who's the boogeyman? I assume you Toronto. figure it out. I'm getting, <laughs> He's getting angry. I'm going back to Waterloo where the vampires hang out. And I'm going to wear my sunglasses that night. You know why? Because women show their tits, <laughs> have short skirts, and then they feel violated when I look at them. Why? Because I have sunglasses on and I'm weird. Uh, I'm from Humberside. I'm sorry if uh, I made a fool of Humberside, but all those people who called me a sleepwalker, I woke up. Now I'm going back to sleep because I'm going to be committed in an isolation room because I'm going to go back to the ministry and allow them to perceive me as I am a fuck up. <laughs> hey Toronto the good. Look at, look at this square. It came back. It was a shithole when I worked here. Now it looks like New York Manhattan. <laughs> Where are the bums? There's no bums here. Toronto doesn't have bums. But Waterloo, they're creating bums. They this lady in the me. background is here. He's getting Why? louder. I don't know. 
Maybe it's the church. Talk to the Pope. He knows everything. I had it. I'm going to die. How can you <laughs> die when you're dead? Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I'm going to be crucified, right? Oh, you should get so pumped out. What? <laughs> I'm not going to raise my voice. Because I'm committed to the Lord. <laughs> oh, jeez. I liked it. That was fucking weird. <laughs> that was good. It got that better. Was good. He, yeah, it, he was doing his own little sketch, though. Yeah. You think uh, you think right? he would be in Jokies? I don't know. I mean, I think it ripped the buttons off his shirt. That was real commitment, you know. He was fantastic. She, her face um, in this is great. Like, yeah, she's like just. I just. I mean, maybe, maybe it's just me, but like, there's something about the way that that guy looks. That that's not the guy that I'm gonna expect to like prank the news you know mm -hmm. just a man on the street you know what I'm saying? what's your name oh, she yeah, asked what sure. his name was yeah he's not like a 24 year old or you know yeah yeah he's, he's not trying to get followers you know i mean not the <laughs> like instagram followers he's i guess he is trying to get followers he is awesome boys it's like 1 40 in the morning here i'm gonna have to bounce you got 20 more minutes is that what you're saying there's there's a seven <laughs> seconder that i just put up one more okay. all right one more for me and you guys can hang on was this it or no cardox cardox that's a curving sir curving we got a curving going on here sir this is curving sir oh wait oh, the spot. Top of the pit maneuver. sir You, you this is already longer than the car corral where it belongs. This this oh, one's six, six, dude, six dude, seconds. They just fucked me over in there. What, what they do? Are you okay? That's the second curb, by the way. No, I'm not okay, you fucker. But I'm a nice guy. I'm a card narc. I'm just card doing my narcs? job. Yeah. This guy had a dude, gun pull dude, on dude, him. Dude, dude, dude. I guess. It's a pretty athletic move. Do the one I just put in. Yeah, what do you think's gonna happen? You put the pig on the table. Yeah, pig don't belong on the table. <laughs> All right. Uh, should we should we raid someone? Uh, who are you raiding? How about Dad Fields? Dad won his big uh, boxing match. Uh, yeah, Twenty-two Dad second crushed. TKO. Did you see it, Sam? Have you seen it? I saw a clip on YouTube today. Yeah, Dad destroyed that guy so fast that like he didn't even realize he won. He was like ready for the next round, and they're like, "No, it's over." And he was like, "Wait, what?" It was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. So I think we should con congratulate him with a raid. Let's do it. Darren, this was fun. Yeah, this was awesome. Uh, uh, nice seeing all of you guys. So what, um, probably not next this, Saturday, but the the week after next? And yeah, we, should probably. Probably have, we should probably have the whole crew by that time.